Well, good afternoon. Today I thought we'd talk about my latest sailing canoe build. Uh, this boat is uh, a new build this year and has a work in progress. Uh, the hull is a Grumman Eagle 15 square stern, 15 feet long, uh, 63 pounds, 39 inch beam, and it's got a square stern. So the boat can be paddled or motored with, uh, I use an electric motor. Um, so the first uh, detail about this rig is it can all be stored, broken down and stored inside the boat. Uh, it's just thrown in there kind of rough right now, but the outriggers can be deflated. The lee board can be removed from the uh, crossbar and everything breaks down into small pieces. The reason that that is significant is because when the boat's not in sailing mode, it maintains its uh, usefulness as a paddle craft and because this is a square stern as a motor canoe as well. So this is a sail, paddle or motor. Um, I would say uh, the Grumman is not, uh, Eagle is not legendary for its white water capabilities, but I would say up to class two white water and it's a deep dry boat. Uh, I've had this boat out on the ocean around Prince Edward Island and Cape Breton Island. Uh, not in really rough conditions, but, uh, you know, it, it seems to be a, a dry boat and seems to uh, do what I want it to do. So I thought I would kind of uh, go through uh, things step by step and show you the rigging process. Uh, I'll start with the crossbar and lee board and then the mast and sail rig and the rudder and the outriggers. Okay. So let's do the crossbar. There we have it. Crossbar is attached. It's just two stainless steel pins on uh, that go underneath the uh, through the hull underneath the gunnels. It's just uh, I use the original holes that were there for the forward thwart, and then there's the lee board there. So that's uh, I leave it most, mostly permanently attached to the crossbar. So that's where I'm getting my um, lateral resistance from when I'm sailing, is the lee board, single lee board. Okay, we will build the mast and boom next. It's all in this bag. Bag's about, I don't know, four feet long. There it is, four mast sections, a boom, and a sail. 36 square foot sail with two reef points. All right, so we have the lower mast section put through the crossbar and then the other three sections of mast are assembled there on the ground. Uh, the sails on the, uh, hacked onto the lower mast section. And now we just uh, raise the mast and we can raise the sail or leave it down. All right, there it is, mass stepping. Does not get a whole lot easier than that. Now I'm gonna rig the sheet. And then uh, rudder, I guess. Okay, the rudder, as you can see, there's two stainless steel gudgeons. I still need to paint that plywood. I just replaced the plywood on the transom. Uh, this is super easy. Okay, there's the gudgeons in and then I'll rig up the steering lines now. All right, there it is, cable steer system. Very simple, but very effective. You can steer from anywhere on the boat, so it's just ropes that come by. The pulleys attached to the thwart and then back. You just pull on this rope and the rudder turns. And the nice thing is you can steer that rudder from anywhere, from the seat in the back, sitting in the middle, or even forward of the center thwart, you could steer the boat if you needed to. So it's, uh, there's no tiller in the way. And finally, the inflatable outriggers uh, attached to the crossbar. So there we have it, that's the boat rigged. Uh, the inflatables are 
Uh, outriggers are optional. They give a total beam of eight feet. And um, this boat is so stable with its 39 inch beam. I haven't actually used them on this boat yet, but if it was rough enough, then uh, I would. All right, well that worked out. I paddled out maybe a mile from the boat launch until I found some wind. And now I'm sailing. Sweet. You'll notice I have my uh, outriggers off. There they are in the bottom of the boat and that is because in light wind you do not want outriggers. The extra drag of both wind and water drag of outriggers slowing you down. That's the nice thing about the quick release pins on the outriggers is bring them along and if you don't need them leave them in the boat. I just see some kind of a cat catch up here in this mooring field that I want to check out. Lots of Tanzers. Oh, that's a McGregor there. Tanzer there. Not sure what that is ahead. Not sure what it is. Home build, maybe. Cool looking boat. <laughs> 